It's just hand sanitized. Hi, I'm Mr. Kilpatrick. My name is Caitlin. I'm a student physical therapist assistant that's going to be working with you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do soft tissue massage, just in the areas of your scars, just to help mobilize the tissue. And then we're going to do it on your bicep just to help with your muscle spasm. Is that okay with you? Yep. All right. During this time, I am going to be coming into contact with your arm. Is that okay as well? Yep. Okay. And then would you like to be draped, covered up around your shoulders? I'm all good. Thank you. All right. And then before we get started, I noticed that you don't have any infected wounds or open wounds. So that's okay for us to keep going. Um, but do you have a history or do you currently have chronic um, heart failure? No. No? Okay. So for my pre-assessment, I took passive range of motion. And then um, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate your pain right now? Uh, five. All right. So now we're going to begin. We want to get some motion. So to start off, I'm just going to do some stroking along his arm. And this is just to get his arm used to the sensation of my hands. And then it's also for me to get a feel of the tissue in his arm, just to check for any abnormalities. Um, it's also promoting relaxation because we want him to be relaxed while we're doing this. Throughout this, I'm going to keep at least one hand on his arm. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to do some effleurage. So, excuse me, get more lotion. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the wrist and make my way up to his elbow. We're going to do seven second, I mean seven inches per second. And we're always going to keep one hand again on. So this is going to promote increased blood flow and lymphatic movement. Um, we're going to the nearest lymphatic shed, which is at his elbow. This is going to help with the swelling that he has in his arm as well. So again, we're just going to do this for a little bit. And we're pausing at the elbow just to make sure that we're getting the correct drainage to occur. And then we're going to do the same thing, but up on the shoulder. Again, now we're pausing at his lymphatic shed in the shoulder. And we're doing seven inches per second. Okay. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to do some kneading. So I'm going to do it at his radial wrist. We're just going to do slow, deep movements. This is to help with scar tissue mobilization, just to hopefully ease the movement so it's not so restricted right here, and then hopefully help with any pain that he's having via the gait theory. And again, just slow, deep movements throughout his radial. We're avoiding any um, thumb pad kneading. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to use the same technique at his distal humerus, at the radial area in the elbow. And this is for the scar tissue mobilization and to decrease pain. How is this feeling? Good. All right, and then the last technique that we're going to use is we're going to use the picking up method. This is to help with his muscle spasm that he has in the bicep. So by doing this, we're increasing blood flow to the area, which will help get rid of the waste buildup that's going on. Then that's going to help him relax due to the decrease in pain, and then hopefully have him move normally according to the pain spasm cycle. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do some more effleurage. And this is just to help with the drainage again. 
of any of the fluid that we got while doing our kneading techniques. Again, seven inches per second to the elbow. And we're gonna go up into the shoulder. Finish with some stroking. All right. So now we're going to take the post assessment. I am going to do passive range of motion again. And then on a scale of one to 10, what would you say your pain is now? I'll do a three out of 10. Okay. And then we're going to continue on with our post exercise. So we're going to do some active range of motion in your elbow. Okay. Okay.